stuff's loaded in the van, and we're on our way again. Happy days. Well, we have uh, spent quite a while hunting around and looking and driving around the lake. Um, I got here about half eleven, and it's now, oh, I don't know actually really what the time is. So, it's, uh, it's gone two o'clock, and we've sort of, we're not really set up, we've got a lot of stuff in the car still, um, over has got to go, a few bits and bobs, you know, I, you know a quarter of the stuff's done and sorted, um, rods are out, which is the most important bit, I like the idea of the rods being out, and we'll just sort of, uh, slowly but surely, uh, take it from here, really, um, I've got, Five nights on the bank. Um, it's uh, half term, and the, the wife's off, and kindly sort of said I could go fishing, really, which is absolutely fabulous. So I'm not going to complain about that. But yeah, five nights is yeah, five nights is good. Happy with that. I'm not. Um, I did want to go to the other lake, but uh, I looked at the uh, bookings this morning, and. Uh, they, um, yeah, quite a few people there today, quite a few people going to get there before me today, um, a few people on tonight, so I'm sort of going to have the, you know, last of the, last of the better swims, um, because I'd get there last, so I thought, wow, ah, no, forget that, I'm going to, uh, come down now, come down here, fish on here, seems a sort of much nicer sort of, you know, scenic scenario area to, to fish. Looking very nice. I'm sort of at the back of the wind. I've done three circuits of the lake, to be perfectly honest with you. Trying to pick where to go. Couldn't, just couldn't really, couldn't, couldn't decide. Still can't decide. But remembering my uh, golden rule about uh, if the swim looks good and it's fishing good and looking good, I need to um, get myself out and um, scattered in corner. So here I am out in Scattered Lynn Corner, hoping that something sort of uh, comes along and uh, graces my net. Problem is, it's I don't think it's going to be, it's not going to be very easy, I must admit, on here at the moment. Uh, it's not been fishing brilliantly. I am in a bit of a strange swim, a bit of a strange area. Um, I can only do, you know, I can only sort of pick what I really feel is my best sort of uh, option and, uh, you know, thing to do and I, I feel here is the wind's a little bit all over the place really but in general I'm going to be sort of at the back of the wind all the time uh, I'm not going to be in the sunshine or anything like that but I am mostly going to be at the back of the wind um, you know the sunlight's finally sort of come through it's looking pretty gorgeous out here at the moment so yeah I'm quite happy with that even got myself in the photograph beautiful uh, I've got a guy opposite just doing a day he's not really fishing very far out He's um, obviously clearly clearly seen fish, which is uh, not bad. I'm nice to see where he's just cast in the, well, <laughs> it's, it's, looks like my water and his water at the moment. I can do a gentle flick and flick that one there. I'm going to have to take note of that. I've sort of gone for this area because I've got several options. At the moment, I've got both frogs down the margins. But he's obviously clearly seen something out in the middle, which is something I'm going to have to um, contemplate an area, contemplate doing and fishing, um, sort of. The next few days comes along really what i might actually do is you know let around there tomorrow stick a marker float out and just bait it up for a couple of nights and then fish it for the last three nights if i don't get anything producing on the other the other baited areas which i can't really do today because he's out there it's a bit unfair um you probably don't realize how close he's just landed to me actually to be honest with you but i'm uh, i'm nowhere near there so it is what it is it's another reason why i don't particularly like fishing this swim but so I've gone for the sort of two right hand, one, you know, right hand margin, left hand margin, and then if, if necessary, I can, uh, you know, shoot one, uh, shoot one up the middle. He, he, he might be, uh, he might be back tomorrow doing the same sort of thing. Really, I don't know. We've got to see. Really, um, conditions are pretty favourable today, tomorrow, and then they're uh, and they're going to change. We're going to get, uh, uh, well, bit of bit of bit of wind, not much, bit of rain, not, you know, not, 
Wow, not too much. I just think it's just going to be generally miserable wet days. Um, I've worked it out that uh, if there's no one booked onto the uh, State Lake, um, my third and fourth, uh, sort of fourth and fifth night, I can actually sort of uh, shoot off and uh, head home because uh, there's the there's the car and there's the bivvy right next door to each other. A beautiful blue sky out there at the moment. Absolutely beautiful. Really is lovely. So yeah, a uh, little bit of a backup plan to scoot off there. Um, if nothing occurs, but I, I do want to try and stick it out in here because I'm going to head there next week. See if I can do three nights on there next week. Uh, I might take if the weather's right. I might take my umbrella or sort of a fast and light with the overwrap, a little bit smaller, getting some of the smaller swims, and uh, have any issues, sort of uh, pack up, head home, and uh, be gone as fast as possible. Really, but it does look beautiful out there. That's very, very tempting that a car is going to come along. That's for really, really carpy. So there we go. So that's me. All set up is good as uh, done. I'm waiting and hoping that uh, well something's going to occur. With any luck, it will do. Well, good morning from a. Uh, well, up to about five minutes ago, it was a very, very misty morning. Now, it is turning out to be an absolute stunning morning, don't you think? Absolutely beautiful out there. And a bit of sunshine today. It look really, really good. Ah, so I've been up since, well, before before light really waiting for the mist to clear waiting for this moment hopefully to spot some uh, spot some carpy signs about what's going on uh, really picked up anything at the moment whatsoever but I'm sure we uh, I'm sure we will do at some particular point uh, <laughs> But yeah, you can sort of, uh, well, you can't see too well over there at the moment. It's uh, sort of, uh, yeah, so it's very dark over here, and blue, blue is the colour. But uh, this way, oh, my night lights come on. <laughs> I do love the little night lights, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I found the swans where they've been roosted anyway there. Sort of out in the lake over there, just sort of drifting around. I could hear them, but couldn't see them. That's a, that's a little fishy sign there. Didn't actually see what it was, so who knows? I hear the seagulls. I can see we're about 20 miles away from the sea. There's some uh, absolutely stunning. Uh, unfortunately, uh, no joy this morning. <sighs> nothing to uh, nothing to report, unfortunately. Uh, Mr. Carp has eluded uh, me in the night, the first 24 hours. But, uh, that's all, uh, all okay, really. Um, so I half expect it. We sort of do half expect it a little bit, really. I was convinced I heard fish to the left of me last night. Uh, and 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 quite close to be fair, yeah. That's just occurred there again. <laughs> be paying more attention, shouldn't I? At the moment I'm sort of uh, holding the camera. Uh, you probably saw that on film. I'm going to run it back again. Have a look and see if anything sort of uh, sticks its head out. Really, I was actually looking to the left then. Beautiful, aren't it? Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, I think I'd better I'm sit in my booty, head out the door. You can probably small stuff, really, I think. Roach, bream, something like that. I want to say tench, because, you know, that would just be frustrating. But, uh, now we're around in here. And they do do strange things this time of year. I was wobbling around a little bit too much. 
Yeah, definitely heard something to the left of me last night. Came out a couple of times. I came out looking for the ripples and did see ripples go by, but uh, didn't couldn't really sort of. Uh, I stood outside for another 10 to 15 minutes, but it literally was two crashes only, and that was the end of that. Uh, could have been a third one, I think. I could have pinpointed it realistically. But, uh, oh well, not a lot you can do about that. That yeah, looks it's absolutely gorgeous, doesn't it? Right, I'm off into the back of the bivvy now. Get the first bra for the day. Get a crunchy, uh, <coughs> croaky, croaky voice. It's uh, about 6.30 in the morning now. I've been up since about 6, waiting for this to arrive. Mr. to clear. Uh, yeah, see, I haven't seen any signs or anything, but uh, from what I've seen, which aren't, I don't think they're carpy. Um, that's about it. Right, I better pay attention and keep my eyes peeled and scanning around. Can't sort of do that and keep the phone level, as you may have noticed. <laughs> right. First night done. First morning, just arriving. Beautiful, eh? Absolutely beautiful. Any of us any doubts of why we ever come fishing? It's moments like this, I think, isn't it, really? You know, and then that making possibility that that one of them rods is going to rip off. But I've just seen something slightly roll out there. I don't know what it was, but that's, that's where the day angle was passing yesterday. Cause I, I did feel he was coming way over my way, but. He knew where I was casting, so and I was trying not to interfere with him. Bit of courteous, you know, courteousness. I don't think there's a word, but you get the meaning. Right, brew time. Oh, beautiful. Well, my friendly swans have woken up, come for a visit. Back to the little behave themselves and just go under the rod tips, like I was saying earlier. And uh, yeah, not cause me any anger. Things have been quite good so far. Just so don't flap his wings or anything down, because that could be a complete disaster. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they seem quite content there. They obviously come here a lot. And, uh, yeah. Quite happy sitting around down there, really. Have a little bit of a clean after their fun. Sleepiness. Roosting for the night. No, no, that's okay. We don't want to disturb the wildlife too much, do we? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm wiggling around a little bit, trying to sort of. Um, I need to try and talk a bit louder because I haven't got my microphone on and uh, not disturb them. So yeah, <laughs> you can only that uh, hope we're doing doing both really. You can hear me. There we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right then. Well, oh, good afternoon. Um, it's sort of half one, quarter to two now. Um, just put the rods back out, which is why you might find that light on at the moment, because it's just sort of settling down, the line is settling itself down in the water and everything like that. Um, wow, oh, I wouldn't say I nearly thought about moving a swim, I went as far as walking down and having a look in another swim, work out whether it's sort of, you know, should I move or shouldn't I move, and um, sort of made the conclusion that, no, I'm going to stay where I am, I need to stick to this plan. So I went round, popped into the loo, sorted that stuff out, came back, and uh yeah baited up the swimmers with a little bit more uh, crumb etc and uh yeah hopefully hopefully um something will come along um there's a guy that fished further up last night for me had a bream and a, and a stocky uh saying that it looks quite a big stocky but anyway we weren't going to that um that's where i've been looking fishing a guy at the weekend caught from out of there but you basically have to get your chesties on, wade up to your thighs and crack baits along the margins, sort of would be similar to 
doing it here really which I know as I said yesterday isn't quite my cup of tea and not what I'm sort of feel like doing and feel safe doing so I'm just going to stick to this plan I'll drive around and pop, you know when I was going to the loo popped in a couple of other swims and no I'm uh, I think I'm quite happy with my selection of the swim I'm determined to uh, you know as I said I'm after that one particular fish that probably lives in that corner there but you can't get baits to there anymore unfortunately due to well the swim's eroded so it doesn't stick out as far as it used to and all these branches are sticking over I actually wonder if I had any baiting pole and I could get it sort of over there and around the corner but look at the way that tree is stuck in the water it's like a yet another death trap being created so there we go but no as I say it's been a pleasant afternoon I've sort of finally warmed up at some point I've got several cups of coffee sitting in the beer with the stove on was a bit fresh this morning. Tomorrow's supposed to be warmer. Uh, it's supposed to be a warmer night as well, so the day will warm up a, a lot faster. I just realised I haven't got this on my stabilising thing, so it might be a bit wobbly. This one might, so I'll we'll just have to. If it is, I do apologise. Um, I probably should go and get it. What I might do is hold it with two hands and go slow up. Let's go have a look at the have a look at that river, shall we? Over here. I don't know if that river's going down, it probably should be, uh, until, uh, until tomorrow comes. Probably going to get the chair out of my car and come and uh, sit up here for the afternoon. It's uh, well, decidedly more, uh, decidedly much warmer and nicer out here than it is anywhere else, so quite pleasant up here. There we go, we shall see. Right. Um, yeah catch up with you in a bit and uh, yeah fingers crossed eh? I'm gonna keep on going well it ain't gonna be much longer is it the sun settles over the river Avon and it's uh, floodplains yeah not gonna be long clear skies as well absolutely beautiful isn't it absolutely beautiful well, uh, we're coming to the cold corn of it. <laughs> but there we go. No, it's, uh, what should we say? Um, I haven't really seen much today. Um, a few bits and bobs flicking around, but that's about it. As you can see, the last rays of light are touching the uh, far banks. I've been watching out, standing around. Um, uh, I've actually warmed up this morning. I've just been out and about down here. Um, watched for coffee signs and everything like that, and just uh, just hoping something sticks its head out. Afternoon, but no, nope. an enjoyable afternoon though. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, yeah, sitting in the sunshine, keeping warm. Um, yeah, set the forecast. On well, lunchtime tomorrow, we're going to get uh, a lot of rain, and um, well, heavy rain it's going to be. None of this light stuff that uh, was anticipated, which is a shame. Uh, Ian said he might come and visit tomorrow, but. Uh, Somehow I doubt it now. I was going to sit in the busy and rain, in the rain. But then again, if he gets down here sort of by 10 o'clock, you know, spend a couple of hours with me, and uh, yeah, it will be, uh, well, he'll be home before it even starts. But there we go. That's looking good. Fingers crossed something does uh, rattle off and make all the difference. Uh, I'm quite content in my uh, swim now, quite happy about that. But the wind's now changed to sort of south southwesterly, southerly, a bit of everything in it. I think it's going to swim back again tomorrow. So it's going to be we'll say, a little bit warmer tonight, but it's only going to be 6 degrees. Um, tomorrow's going to be about 11, and then, the next, and then, then it's like 10 degrees at night. 
um, over the next few nights. So conditions are a lot better. Pressure goes up a little wee bit, but nothing traumatic. Uh, so yeah, we shall just see. But what a what a just I keep just panning backwards and forwards. It's absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning, isn't it? You know, beautiful, beautiful. And then we're pressing the uh, photo button. It was absolutely wonderful, especially around about there. Look at that, absolutely perfect. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful view, beautiful place. Right then, let's see if we can put the scaffolding on the bank, shall we then? It's all we can hope for, the one we want, the one we need. Something like that, anyway. <laughs> 